Ladies and gentlemen, and Pokemon fans of the world, Crasher Chase is back, and allow me to introduce to you yet another Pokemon X and Y analysis featuring the second fossil Pokemon, known as Aurorus. Now, I do apologize for the delay. I was meaning to make an analysis video on Aurorus earlier, but after I made my last Pokemon analysis, I basically crashed for at least eight hours, like just completely died, fainted, done. So, I'm up, and I'm here to deliver to you what you guys want, and that's more Pokemon analysis videos, and I'm feeling it! So, let's get underway. The first thing we're going to go over is things like its typing, abilities, and stats. Let's do this! So, with Aurorus, its typing is that of Rock and Ice, which is a first for Pokemon history. And it is introduced in this generation, and it's actually really interesting typing. Now, I will say that on a defensive side, it's not exactly the best, because it is a part ice type. And when you pair that with a rock type, you are four times weak to that of steel and fighting type moves. So please keep that in mind. As for the abilities, the first one it gets is Refrigerate. And what Refrigerate does is it turns any normal type moves into ice type moves and also gives a 30% boost to them. So say if you were to use something like a hyper beam on Aurorus, it's a normal type attack, but what happens is that refrigerate activates and hyper beam actually gets a 30% boost in its power and then turns into an ice type move. So I think that's actually really cool. Its hidden ability is that of Snow Warning, which is very unique, and only Snover and Obama Snow possess this ability. So, once this ability has been released, then Aurorus will be one of the very few Pokemon that is fortunate enough to get a weather-inducing ability, which will fit very well on Hail Teams. Now, taking a look at this guy's stats, its biggest stat is that of 123 HP. That is ridiculously high. And when you pair that up with its base 72 defense and base 92 special defense, uh, this guy can take some hits very well, especially on the special side. Now taking a look at its offensive stats, attack is base 77 and special attack is base 99. Um, so clearly the special attack is more superior, but the physical attack of base 77 is usable. I happen to have a set idea for you revolving around the uh, base 77 attack. Now as for its speed, it's base 58, which is not that fast, but this guy is fortunate enough to get the move called Rock Polish, which can turn this guy's speed uh, basically into no longer an issue. You will be basically outpacing a considerable amount of the metagame after one Rock Polish boost. So with all of that said, it's time to go over the first set idea I have for you. With this first set here, we're going to be turning Aurorus into an all-out physical attacker. The nature that we can give it is either Adamant or Jolly. Adamant to slightly increase its physical attack, while Jolly slightly increases its speed. Whichever you prefer, then roll with one of these two natures. The ability that we're going to be giving it is known as Refrigerate, as it is the more superior ability in this situation. And I also want to make a quick note that Snow Warning, which is its hidden ability, has not yet been released. So, therefore, any sets that I make that revolve around its hidden ability do not deem it as illegal as this ability most likely will be released and therefore will make the uh, possible sets legal. Now, as for the item, we have Life Orb uh, to increase the power of your moves but at the cost of 10% of your HP and then we have leftovers to increase your HP at the end of each turn gaining a better chance of survivability. Now as for the EV spread, 4 are going to go into HP, 252 into attack and 252 into speed making you as offensively oriented as possible. Now as for the move set, we have rock polish which as I said before it doubles your speed uh, in translation, increases your speed by two stages. So after one rock polish, you're going to be hitting well over 400 speed, outpacing a considerable amount of the metagame. And the next move that we have is known as Stone Edge, which is a really powerful stab rock type move. 
uh, it does have an 80% accuracy, so please keep that in mind, but when it hits, it hurts. The next move that we have is known as Return, and along with the ability of Refrigerate, Return gets a 30% boost in its power and then turns into an Ice-type stab move, therefore hitting so much harder. And then the last move that we have is known as Earthquake. And along with the Edge Quick combo and Ice type coverage, you're going to be hitting the metagame for neutral, if not super effective damage. Um, I can't think of any Pokemon off the top of my head that could uh, resist all three of these moves. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, now moves to consider. I decided to put Facade there because it is a normal type move at base 70 power. And what this does is if you are afflicted with a status condition such as paralysis, burn, or toxic damage, uh, this move power doubles. And <laughs> let's just say that along with the refrigerate ability and gaining stab, since it's going to be turning into an ice type move, you're going to be hitting for ridiculously hard amounts of damage. Like... This set here looks really good. I might actually go ahead and breed me an offensive uh, Aurorus after this. So that's all for this set. It's time to move on to the next one. So with this next set here, we're going to be turning Aurorus into an all-out special attacker, uh, being the special counterpart to Aurorus's physical set, which I demonstrated in the last slide. Uh, the nature that we're going to be giving it is either a modest or a timid nature. Modest to increase your special attack and timid to increase your speed. The ability, once we, again, we're going to be going with Refrigerate as it's the more superior ability in this situation. Uh, as for the item, we are going to be going with Leftovers solidly because um, we have a boosting move that increases your special attack and special defense, that being in Calm Mind. Uh, so there won't be a need for anything like Light Forb to uh, power up your moves, because we already have a way to do that. As for the EV spread, we have 4 going into HP, 252 into special attack, and 252 into speed. Um, as for the move set, once again we're going to be running a Rock Polish move on this set to double your speed after one turn. And then we have Calm Mind, so you could say that this this is like a different version of like a double dancing set. Um, for example, there was the uh, Terrakion and Landorus set where they both used uh, Swords Dance and Rock Polish to increase their attack and speed by two stages, making them as fearsome as fearsome can be. Um, but with Calm Mind, it increases your special attack and special defense by one stage, so after a Rock Polish and a couple Calm Mind boosts, if you get that far, you're going to be hitting for really, really, really high amount of damage, and you're also going to be tough to take down on the special side. The next move that we have is known as Nature Power, which is a base 80 normal type move, and when you're playing in Wi-Fi, it turns into Tri Attack, which is an 80 base power normal type move that has a 20% chance to either inflict paralysis, burn, or freeze. So this, in my opinion, is the much better version of Ice Beam because with Refrigerate uh, activating, it's going to get a 30% increase in its power and then turn into an Ice type move, which gives it Stab. Yeah, Nature Power is actually better than Ice Beam in this situation. And the next move that we have is known as Thunderbolt, which gives you the infamous Bolt Beam combo that is resisted by very few Pokemon, such as Empoleon, Lantern, and uh, Magnezone. Or wait, did I say Empoleon? Damn. Um, I stand corrected there. Uh, Empoleon gets hit for super effective damage on Thunderbolt. Um, okay, so some moves to consider. We have Ancient Power, which is a fairly decent Rock-type move that has a 10% chance to increase all your stats by one stage. Um, but it's very chancy, and I wouldn't risk it. The next move that we have is known as Dark Pulse, which is a good way to hit uh, Ghost and Psychic-type Pokemon for super effective damage. The next move that we have is known as Flash Cannon, which I find this to be really funny that Aurorus can learn something like this, 
because it's four times weak to steel type moves, and that's what Flash Cannon is. It's, it's a steel type move. And the last move that we have is known as Psychic, which is a good way to deal with fighting types, although after one fighting type attack, I'm not entirely sure if you're going to be still standing. Um, so overall, I think that this set does have potential, um, especially since how this is like a semi-double dancing. Well, there's no semi, though. It is double dancing. Uh, just the difference is, rather than boosting your special attack by two stages, you're going to be boosting your special attack and special defense by one stage. So it kind of works out to be like a double dance set. So with this set out of the way, I got yet another set for you. So with this next move set here, we're going to be turning Aurorus into a supportive slash bulky pivot. The nature that we're going to be giving it is a bold nature to increase its physical defense and lower its attack. The ability this time is going to be Snow Warning because this guy is meant to function as a hail inducer and thus be a really good spot on a hail team. The item for choice, we can either go with Leftovers to increase its survivability at the end of each turn, Icy Rock to prolong the effects of Snow Warning because as of X and Y, Snow Warning has been cut down to 5 turns, so with Icy Rock, I believe uh, the same thing applies as if you were using something like Hail. Icy Rock increases the duration of Hail to be on the field, so I believe it does the same thing with Snow Warning. Don't quote me on this, um, but that's what I believe. And then the next item for choice is known as Light Clay, which increases the duration of screens to be on the field. Now, as for the EV spread, we have 252 going into HP, 128 into defense, and 128 into special defense, giving you some really well-rounded bulk. As for the move set, we have Reflect and Light Screen. Reflect to cut the damage from physical type moves in half, and Light Screen to do the same with special attacks. And the next move that we have is known as Thunder Wave to induce paralysis and cripple... Uh, potential threats that are either scarfed or really count on speed to sweep. And the last move that we have is known as Frost Breath, and this is a really cool move that it gets. And what Frost Breath does is it always lands a critical hit. So if you're up against an opponent that is trying to set up and trying to outstall you or out tank you, no matter how many times they set up defensively, Frost Breath is going to ignore those boosts and uh, do regular damage as if it uh, wasn't even there. Or actually, I shouldn't say regular damage. It's going to have a critical hit and therefore bypass any uh, boosts or any screens for that matter if your opponent was to have screens on the field. Now, moves to consider. Well, there are none, hence why there's the NA there, non-applicable. This set here is what it is. Uh, it's... The purpose to be as tanky and as supportive and annoying as possible so I can't think of any other moves that would fit in here that would serve the same purpose so that's it for this set but guess what guys there is one more so please stay tuned so with this next set here we're gonna be turning Aurorus into a bulky setup Pokemon the nature that we're going to be giving it is a bold nature to increase its physical defense and lower its attack. The ability is going to be Refrigerate because offensively it's the more superior ability than Snow Warning as Snow Warning is meant to be more supportive. Um, now as for the item of choice, we're going to be going with Leftovers because it's the best item to have on any sort of bulky setup set as it increases your chance of survivability by recovering a little bit of HP at the end of each turn. Now as for the EV spread, we have 252 going into HP, 252 into defense, and 4 into speed, making you as bulky as possible. Now the, as for the move set, we have Calm Mind and Substitute, and they go hand in hand. Um, you basically hide behind a substitute and then proceed to set up, and then proceed to attack and cause destruction um, now substitute uh, I didn't mention this yet takes away 25% of your health to make a decoy of yourself so that you hide behind a substitute and protect you from statuses and damage from moves uh, now I will say that 
uh, due to the new mechanics in this game, Substitute will be bypassed by any sound-type moves, and it, you're also not protected from Roar, and you also get bypassed if a Pokemon happens to have the Infiltrator ability, so please keep that in mind. The next move that we have is going to be Nature Power, as it's the more superior version of Ice Beam, and I've already explained why that was in a previous set. And the last move that we have is known as Thunderbolt, giving you the pseudo bolt beam combo. Now moves to consider, I decided to put the rest and sleep talk combination, and if you're going to be running a mono setup set with rest and sleep talk, then take out substitute and thunderbolt and make it a calm mind, rest, sleep talk, and nature power set. So this set here is pretty straightforward. I hope you guys enjoyed the set and this video. Now that's all there is for sets, but I want to make a special mention, so please stay tuned. So this special mention involves a move that Aurorus and very few Pokemon get, and it's known as Freeze Dry, which is a base 70 power ice type move, and what this does is the user rapidly cools the target, this may also leave the target frozen, and this move is super effective on water types, so... Any water type that switches it switches in, thinking that they can tank any ice type moves. If you happen to pack freeze dry, that's a big mistake on their part. And if they happen to be water or flying or water and ground, then you're gonna be hitting for four times super effective damage. So, you know, if you have something like a Gyarados or a Quagsire, Gastrodon or a Swampert that wants to switch in to try and tank your hits. They're going to have a four times super effective freeze dry, blast them in the face, and possibly knock them out. So guys, that basically wraps up this uh, special mention and this entire video. I hope you enjoyed it, and feel free to leave a comment, rate, subscribe, and also to give me honest reviews. I mean, like I said, um, feel free to give me constructive criticism if you feel that I need to change how I make my videos. Uh, and I will definitely do my best to implement those changes and improve for all of you guys because I'm here to not only entertain to make videos but to also be informative and helpful and supportive to uh, those that are in the Pokemon community. So this is Crasher Chase signing off. I hope everybody has a good day and I will see you guys next upload.